What is going on? Welcome back. Here we are on Twitch.tv slash Skybound, hanging out with Dan. Hey. <laughs> he told me to call him something. I was like, well, you can no. call me Deers if you want, but I said no. Oh, oh, yes, you are no, not Thank that. you. Thank you, Zeke. It's good to see you again. Thanks. But more importantly, we're hanging out with Mo, hey. one of the designers from Shadow Tactics. Exactly. Is that right? Okay. Tell us a little bit about your game before okay. we get into it, because we're going to yeah. see some gameplay. Yeah. The game is a, um, a real-time tactical stealth game. Um, and it's kind of from a top-down perspective, and you play a group of ninjas and uh, samurai in Edo, Japan. Okay. And you're kind of working for the Shogun, and your job is to beat a conspiracy that's trying to take down the Shogun. Okay, very cool. And I, I had a chance to play this game earlier today, and uh, it's all about the stealth. Exactly. Okay, so there's there's different kind of. I mean, it's called Shadow Tactics. It is, yeah. Which means like you set up your 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 plan of attack. You have. Uh, yeah. How many? How many like people total? How many uh, uh, like people do you play total? Because I so, play two. Yeah, you have five characters in the game. Okay. But you, there's very few missions where you play them all because it can get kind of overwhelming. Sure, sure. So we have like two to three characters most of the time, and yeah, it's like you said, the stealth is very important in the game. So what you do is you assess the situation, look at it, try to find out the right angle to go in, and then you have to execute it quickly, and that's the real time part of it. So it's not a turn based game like many other games that you might think when you hear tactics that it's turn-based, but it's right. not. It's real time and you gotta execute things quickly if you want to do that. Yeah, and, I, and uh, did you get a chance to play this yet? Yeah, yeah, and I definitely was watching you play it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't don't watch me play. Oh, I, well, I, I was, I was experimenting game. around with stuff. I got, I got detected, like at the, towards the end of the mission I got detected yeah. and I got shot. A but lot. you did quite well uh, up to that point. <laughs> well, I try, you know, I'm, I'm a gamer, man. I'm pretty, yeah. good. I'm pretty good at stuff. Yeah, of course, of course. All right. Now, there's this one character, by the way, that you know we, you weren't playing with that uh, I especially adore, which is the uh, character with the wooden head leg that turns into a rifle. Yeah. So he's the sniper. He's Tell the us about sniper, him. Yeah. Who, who, what's the story with that guy? Well, uh, which one? The, the sniper guy. Sniper yeah. Guy. So he he lost his leg in the war. And you're actually going to see that in the game, not now, but if you play the game. Okay. And yeah, he, he kind of replaces it. He's this super gunsmith guy, and he also replaces his leg, and he gets the rest of the team some guns, so he's a pretty cool guy. All right, all right. All right, let's, let's go to some gameplay. I'm sorry, yes. I'm messing with my microphone. It keeps popping up my ear. Yeah, I think, yeah. I yeah. got these big old I'll ears that are, that are tough to uh, manage. Oh, you got to fan me down. <laughs> okay, Thank you. yeah. Fan all right, down. Okay. let's check this out. Let's go. Okay, so, so tell us what we're doing, where we're at. Yeah, so right now I'm playing one character. His name is Hayato. He's the ninja you can see right here. And we are at a, at a convoy that you can see in the center of the map. And we're trying to take down some officers guarding the convoy. That's the guys with the flags, this one, for example. Okay, And okay. we're trying to take some of them down so our people can get in and raid the convoy. Um, Excellent, okay. And there's less defense. So the most important thing in the game is that you can see the enemy's vision like this. And you can see there's a bright part and a dark part. And if I'm crawling in the dark part, like I'm doing right now, they can't see me, only if I stand up. OK, so they can't see you, period. Because I know there's, exactly. there's the dark part of their vision, but there's also like, like cut off of their vision. Like yes. if you're behind, like if you see it goes behind the rock. Then they can't see me at all. Can't see you at all. Yeah. Now in the dark part, they can see you if you stand up, right? That's true. So if I would stand up here, he would see me, oh. but I can duck down. So until that yellow line reaches me, um, I'm, I'm good. So OK, gotcha. You, you always have some time to react to things. Perfect. So what I have to do here now is I have to check out what these guys are doing and kind of find the weak spot. They're talking to each other right now. Um, while they're doing that, I'm going to select the skill, the shuriken, of course. And as you can see, there's this blue range, and that's the noise the guard's going to make when he's dying. So. Gotta, oh, so okay. So yeah. I didn't see that before yeah, when so I was uh, playing it. So when you like, it'll show you like if yeah. I throw or throw a star or kill the guard, that's how much noise exactly. around him. Okay, okay. So now if I kill him, the guy will not hear it, and I can get in behind this one, take him out with the ninja toe I got. And what you always want to do is you want to hide your bodies in the bushes because people might, might find them, and you don't want anybody to know that you're here. So that's what of I course. did. Always well, a good what, I mean, what if what if you like wanted to like show like leave a dead body out in the open to show them what happens? You can do that. You can also <laughs> you can intimidate them. Say, you can you know, lure I'm people here. towards yourself with that. I mean, there's many strategies there. Oh, okay. They're gonna see the body come there. You can use that to your advantage. Yeah, as well. I'd stick a little note on it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I've been here. Yeah, Zeke so, was here. Exactly. <laughs> an important feature of the game is also the quick save, which I'm gonna do right now. It's very quick, and um, you want to save the game often and load it because you have to iterate. So now we're going to get to introduction to a second character here. Her name is Yuki, and she has placed the trap here. Now, 
You don't mind those robot voices of the characters, they're still dummy, the game is still in development. So I'm gonna skip that cutscene now. <laughs> you got it, no problem. Uh, game's still in development. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. So, now I got a second character, I gotta take down this guy down there first, so I can show you what she does. Because she has a very different skill set. And as I said before, we have five characters. Each of them has their own specialties, and it makes the missions play very different, and you can like always choose your own approach depending on which character you use. Well, I like the variety, like the variety yeah. of, ki uh, of kills you can do in the game. Like, I remember I did, uh, I, I killed a guy with Shuriken, I came up behind him and stabbed him, and then there was the next guy I jumped down. Yeah, on you top can jump down on people as well. So at this spot, it's kind of a tough spot. You can see that this guy is seeing the other guard, so I have to get him out of that guard's vision somehow. And for this, Yuki is perfectly quick. So she has a trap that I'm gonna set up now. And then I'm gonna use the whistle skill. Again, the blue range sho uh, radius shows the range. I'm gonna use that now, so this guy's gonna hear it, and he's gonna come check it out. And that's gonna not gonna end good for him. <laughs> <laughs> Down he goes. Putting it, putting it mildly, it looks yes. like it looks like it's one of those jumping mines that like it yeah, looks they, like they comes like in the throat. And you can now, see, yeah. And also, I was just gonna say this. I love that one of the first things I notice is when you're carrying off bodies, different characters of different strengths, body size, body mass, like carry people differently. Exactly. That's something you have to keep in mind. For example, there's a samurai character in the game. He's a very strong, brutish guy, and he can carry two bodies at the same time and run while doing so. So he's very good at that. Okay, so this guy as well. Now, if I would whistle now, you can see that, like, for example, this guy on the top right would also hear it. So I want to be careful, because then they would both come and right. would see the dead body. So I'm going to do it now when he's away. And you always have to kind of assess the situation, look at the environment, look at the routines of the guards to kind of not make a mistake. Now, is there a limit to how many? Okay, so you get one trap, you and have you to retrieve it, it. Exactly. Okay, the same with the get it back. Got it. Okay. And there's uh, skills that have ammunition, like the, the rifles, they do have that, but okay. I, I don't have any of those yet because we don't have the sniper guy yet. Okay, so now let's see. One thing that you can do is you can interact a lot with the environment in the game. Now there's one guard standing behind an oxen, and I might want to use that. So I'm going to sneak over there. This guy's working, so he's not seeing me on the right. Yeah, the guy is working. What happens if the, the working guy does see you? Um, he would. Let's just try that out. So if he sees me, he's a civilian, so he right. can't do much, but he's going to run to uh, another guard. His friends. <laughs> he points at you. And this guy's going to come and check it out now. Oh, okay. And okay. you can see there's a reinforcement spawning. Ah, okay. So now. I could deal with that situation, but it gets very hard, so I'm just going to quick load oh. the game. That's an easy out right there. Yeah. Jeez. That's, good. that's, made, for, that's ah. made for TV ah. right there. <laughs> so I'm going to go for it another way. Now, what I can do here, if I get up there, I can use, he has a stone to distract people, but he can also throw the stone on the oxen down there, which is going to make it angry and kill the guy behind him. <laughs> And if they see this, you can notice that this guy saw it, but he thinks it's an accident because he didn't actually see it. So he's going right. to go there as well, so maybe I can get him as well. Yeah, second down. <laughs> you can just line you him can, up like cordwood behind that, that bull. Until, as long as they see it, at least. So. Right, sure, yeah, yeah. Now I'm going to get her into position as well. Because there's like many spots on this map where you can do that. And an important part of the game is that it's very open. So you have to kill four of these officers, but there's one over here, one over there, and there are six in total on the map. So I can actually choose which way to go and which characters to use. And that is a very important part of the game. Like sure. playing it your way and kind of deciding what you want to do and when. Um, so I could have gone this way here, but you can see it's very heavily guarded. There's lots of guards down there. Right. So I'm going to choose the, the high route here. And I, I rarely choose the high road. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that was my next question. Yeah. Uh, how difficult, you said this, uh, this game about stealth. It is. How difficult is it to just go in there, like I'm sure it's, it's nigh impossible to go in there and just wreck face like in the open. It is, it is hard. Like you can do it and you can get stuff from that, but it's very hard to, to really take advantage of that. You're best off if you try to play it stealth. Okay, okay. Um, and that's what's intended. But as I said, the game's not over if you sound the alarm, so you can keep playing, and there will be some extra guards, but you can work around that. It's just going to be a little bit harder. Okay. So as you can see, there's a stone right here just waiting to be thrown off, and there's one guy patrolling down there. He might walk past the stone. He might, he might. maybe walk past he is. the... Ooh. But 
Oh. I, I want to get value from that. So oh, oh, oh. let's get that whistle out. So yeah, there you go. I was just going to say and that. And just get two guys there. And one of them is an officer. You can see this one with the flag on his back. So it's also one of my objectives. Oh, no. What? Oh, I jumped down. They and saw you. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. They're going to oh, kill me. Oh, they're going to kill me. See, Unless I... I got away, I got away. Okay, okay. Yeah. Nothing happened. Now I can use stone. I hit nobody. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> like, there's so many people and I... No, oh, I should have used it now. And you can see they can't get up here, so they're kind of... Yeah. They're stupid sometimes, but... That's how it's supposed to be in a stealth game because if the enemies are too well, smart, I, you're not well, you gonna know have what? any I don't fun. think I, I don't uh, view the guards in games like this as stupid. I just feel, uh, view them as underpaid. <laughs> it's like you don't pay me enough to climb this damn vine. <laughs> it's too that, that's, Screw this. Yeah. That's a good, good, good view. I'm, I'm out of here. Call it that you mean I have to climb some? Nah, not paid <laughs> it's enough. It's time for lunch. <laughs> yeah, it's lunch time. <laughs> Gotta go. So I can get around them, like if I'm on the on the wagon side. But there's like things are heated up here, so I'm gonna just go back here and play with him a little bit on the other side of the map. He can swim as well, and if That's I'm swimming, cool. I'm kind of crouched so they can't see me underwater. Okay, I didn't, I didn't oh, actually guess. I didn't, have a, I didn't have a water feature. My, my uh, <laughs> mission wasn't feng shui like this one. <laughs> so I'm taking him out with a shuriken up here shuriken. from the bushes. Can it's I a very strong one? skill. Yeah, I, was, that, I use that quite a bit. Yeah, it's, it's great, and I can throw it out on the body here. I could also throw it into the water, but I think it's safe down there. <laughs> I like the satisfying thunk it gives you. Just, yeah, the <laughs> sound effect's great. So this is another thing I can use right here. The one with the cat. Oh, this wagon. I can remove these oh, things the, yeah. from the wagon. For anyone who's towed a yeah. anyone who's towed a trailer. You know. You know. You pull the blocks he's out. Done that, that thing will times roll. Back in the day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So now I've got to kind of wait for him to get there. Again, I want to get value from it. So this time I hopefully get both guys, and not whiff again. There we go. And they're dead. Oh, nice. Hats now, flying. I hope both of, the, both of those guys were bad guys, right? They're all bad guys. They're all, they're bad, all bad guys. Okay, they're all bad. Even the civilians are pretty bad. <laughs> they're horrible. I mean, you can always choose to not kill many people. Yeah. Um, it's, it, it's possible. It's your decision. Uh, sometimes you have to kill guys, and it gets a lot harder if you don't want to kill anybody. But what you can do is you can use a knockout skill um, that will knock them out for a couple of seconds and give you time to kind of work around them. Makes the game harder, but some people want to go for that 100% stealth run, and they can That's what I was, that. I was going to ask you. There's different, like, achievements and goals. Like, there are. You can do a non-lethal run, that kind yeah. of stuff. So we're going to, depending on the mission, we're going to give you different achievements and types of things you can do. Okay. And... Um, so for example, in this mission, there's going to be one where you don't use the water. So you have to go over the bridge and stuff oh, like that. Okay. So it's, it's very geared towards the single scenarios. Oh, now he found me. But I can try to get away. Oh, and you see again. This is what happens if you... And I can try to kill them now, but they're just going to take me out. And I die. I like, the, I like the good old-fashioned Metal, <laughs> Metal Gear Solid like exclamation point. Yeah. <laughs> and the game is very hard. I mean, it's meant to happen. So you kind of... You will fail. But that's okay. Uh, you know, no, I like a game that you, you can Challenge. honestly, if you fail yeah. at. Yeah. And, especially, and I also like a game that, that gives you more challenges on the same kind of run. It's like if I want to go kamikaze and just like don't care about being spotted, and then I want to run it again, but this time knock everybody out and don't yeah. kill anybody, and that kind of stuff. Yeah, you can do like, there's many different ways. And the missions are very big usually, so this one is a smaller one. It's in the beginning. Some of them are like twice or three times this that is, size. This is a small mission? It is. So you, we have huge things. Damn. So there's it's just a taste, seek. Yeah, it's just a... Just a morsel. Just a preview. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, make that... Make she it. can't do it. It's him. I have to get him down there. Can you, can you throw... I would love like throw some cow pheromones on that guy. <laughs> <laughs> and then the cow comes up. Just, <laughs> so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the oxen thing again. Oh, I, I can already see it. your stream, Zeke. Yeah, well... <laughs> those are, the, those are the, the messed up things that come into my head. <laughs> So if I duck, he can't see me. What did Zeke try to do? <laughs> he, try, he tried to make the, the cow hump the guy to death. <laughs> it's it's right and everybody in. sees that. I'm surprised. They're not just standing there going, oh, my God, did you see what happened to Lou? <laughs> the cow just kicked him in the nuts, and he died from it. And I better hide in the water. You're pretty oh, safe you can, in the water. Did you, are you controlling both of them at the same time? Yes, you can That's do that. Cool. Oh my goodness. Now, there was another feature. I don't yes. know if you can show me. I, I'm gonna try. Okay. Um, it's called shadow mode. So there's guys checking this area out. I might be able to sneak past don't them try here. To hide. Oh. Nope. Okay, so now they got me. I'm gonna load quickly and show you that one feature because okay. it's pretty awesome. Yeah, that was, that was the, I, I actually was, was playing this earlier and I said, 
I there were the two uh, uh, warriors or uh, players that I had were on the opposite side of the map. They finally came to a to a spot that was like, and I asked. I said, "Can I make Swap. them go like and do stuff at the same?" Like he's like, "Yeah, you can plan out an attack." Right. Like so, you can plan out like in a whole thing, like in exactly. shadow mode, at which I hopefully. Yes, I'm gonna show you. So this okay. is shadow mode. You can see I'm running around as this shadow ninja guy now, and I can oh, do anything cool. I want to do. Like I can throw a shuriken on this guy, for example, and you can see now it's saved. So if I press Y now, at any time he's gonna throw that shuriken on that guard. So he sets up the attack, tells him what to do, exactly. says throw a shuriken, and then he presses Y to, to execute the plan. You can see at the bottom of the screen there. Yeah. So I'm gonna. Like, make a better plan because that one was pretty bad. <laughs> we're gonna oh, take yeah, out You can this cancel guy. your plans too. Yeah, you can cancel them. And, like, usually the, we're not in one of those situations, but you can actually take out three to four guys at the same time if you time that correctly. So it's a pretty great feature. Well, especially with the, with the environmental kills. Like, yeah. you have someone whistle, get out of the way, exactly. they come and get it, trap, environmental, like, cart kill. You can like do lots kind of stuff, stuff yeah. there. So now I'm gonna whistle both these guys down here which usually is dangerous, but you can see I've planned the action. Now I press Y, and now he's going to come out, take down this guy, and I die, because it was a bad situation. But you get the point, right? Yeah. The, the oh, yeah. shadow mode is a very powerful feature, and you have to set up for it a little bit, which I didn't have the time to do now. But yeah, that's awesome. Dude, that's very cool, man. Thank I can't you. wait. Uh, OK, you're still in development, obviously. We are. You said that. It's um, it, do you have any sort of time period? Uh, probably end of the year. Uh, that's what we're aiming for right now. End of this year? Yes. And okay. um, it's going to be on Xbox, PS4, Steam. Oh, Mac, it's going to be on all the things? Everything, yeah. Right. Swell. And you can play it with a controller, and you can play it with controller, keyboard? Controller, mouse, keyboard. We got you covered for both of that. Excellent, excellent. And, well, the, and oh. the name of your studio is? It's Mi Mi, Mi Productions. We're based that, in Munich, Dave. Germany. Mm -hmm. And glad to be here. <laughs> Mi, yeah. Mi Mi, spell that. Is it M I? M I M I. Okay, it's M I M I M I. Not me, not me, me, me. It's from the crying, like our logo is a crying little girl. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Well, published, Mo, published by Delic. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yes. published by the Delic Entertainment. Yep. You yep. can check out the games right here as well. Cool. Awesome stuff we have there. Yep. So look forward at the end of the year. Uh, Mo, thanks for coming, Dan. Thanks oh, for being a part of this. Uh, we will be right back. Don't go away. We got lots more stuff coming up. Twitch.tv slash Skybound. What's coming up next? Outcast. Outcast panel. Outcast podcast is coming up. So don't go away. We'll be right back.